R-I-V-B-N, The Rich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles about sports stars, professional wrestlers, actors, actresses, and TV hosts. Professional wrestling video blogs, including storylines, angles, pay-per-view results, character, sports video blogs, including the NBA, NFL, Major League Baseball, and the NHL, and entertainment video blogs about movies, TV series, radio stations, television stations, and cable networks, RVBN. Berwicka, Massachusetts. Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog subject of the night for Wednesday, I mean, second and final video blog subject of the night for Wednesday, November 30th, 2016, around 7.43 in the evening in Berwicka, Massachusetts. It's... 48 degrees out and it's raining. It's going to be warm tomorrow in the mid 50s, then back to reality. But sunshine for the weekend. Maybe some snow flurries on Monday. Some news to report on the RVBN Newswire. Do, 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 do. Last night, Ma West beat UMass Lowell Riverhawks. Men's basketball team by the score of 81 to 69. The St. Louis Blues have announced they're going to move the AHL affiliation team from Chicago to Kansas City next season. And there's been rumors that the Chicago, the Chicago AHL team is going to be affiliated with the Vegas Golden Knights. And sad news to report in the world of entertainment. Um, Grant Tinka, former president of NBC, passed away at the age of 90. He also formed MTM Productions with his wife, actress Mary Tyler Moore. So prayers to the family for in this time of need. And that's about it on the news from the RVBN News. Why do 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 be back in a flash? I'm back. My second and final video blog subject of the night is about Week 13 NFL predictions. This is the 14 games that are going to be played for the NFL this weekend. The teams that are off this week that have five weeks are the Cleveland Browns, who are winless, and the Tennessee Titans. And here are the 14 games this weekend. The Thursday night game on NFL Network, NBC, and Twitter is Dallas Cowboys against the Minnesota Vikings. I think the Vi I mean, I think the the Vikings are going to pull off an upset by the score of 24 to 17 because it's going to be cold in Minnesota. The next game on Sunday, the Kansas City Chiefs against the Atlanta Falcons. I think the Falcons are going to win this one by the score of 18 to 10. The next game, the Detroit Lions against the New Orleans Saints. I think the Lions are going to roll over the Saints by the score of 35 to 14. The next game is the LA Rams against the New England Patriots. I think the New England Patriots are going to bomb the Rams 49 to 7. The next game is the Denver Broncos against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Broncos going to win this one by a score of 20 to 12. The next game is the Houston Texans against the Green Bay Packers. I think the Texans are going to win this one in a battle of field goals 15 to 12. The next game, the Philadelphia Eagles against the Cincinnati Bengals. Philadelphia is going to win this one by a score of 28 to 13. The next game, the Miami Dolphins against the Baltimore Ravens. I think the Baltimore Ravens are going to win this one by a score of 24 to 14. The next game, the San Francisco Giants. I mean, San Francisco 49ers against the. Chicago Bears. I think the Bears are going to win this one by the score of 30 to 10.
10. The next game, the Buffalo Bills against the Oakland Raiders. I think the Raiders are going to win this one by the score of 30 to 10. The next game's the New York Football Giants against the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think the Steelers are going to win this one by the score of 17 to 14. The next game is the Washington Redskins against the Arizona Cardinals. I think the Redskins are going to win this one by the score of 32 to 17. The next game is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the San Diego Chargers. I think the Chargers are going to win this one in a battle of three field goals, 12 to 9. The Sunday night game on NBC, Carolina Panthers against the Seattle Seahawks. I think the Seahawks are going to win this one by a score of 29 to 20. And the Monday night game on ESPN, the Indianapolis Colts against the New York Jets. I think the um, Colts are going to win this one by the score of 20 to 5. And that's about it on that. I'll be back tomorrow. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus with three more video blogs coming to you. First video blog will be about my personality profile. Tomorrow's personality profile is about TNA Hall of Fame referee Earl Hepner. Second video blog of the day will be about Fox Sports Radio. And third and final video blog of the night will be the start of 2017 predictions because it's one more month of the year and the predictions I'm going to start off with is Hall of Fame. So I'm going to predict who's going to go in the Hall of Fame for the Major League Baseball, the NBA, the NFL, NHL, and the WWE. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Brennan guy. Molly Rosebloods, WCCO Axon has nice legs. Elizabeth Hart's so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome. Awesome Amy. Linda Church of WPIX Channel 11 of it's such a rocking cougar. She's got the nicest legs in New York City. Bob Gibbs of ABC 11 has sweet southern accent. The best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. And Barbara Gibbs of ABC 11. I mean, and Len Claire of, AB, of, of WHDH Channel 7 in Boston. Morning meteorologist is so sweet and she's got the best legs in Boston. And in the words of Diamond Dallas Page, former WCW World Heavyweight Champion, Feel the pain. And in the meantime, and between time, that's another edition of the Rich Video Blog Network, RVB in Berwick, Massachusetts. Get out, as Sean Butcher would say. Bye now.